long memories. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very long memories. <laughs> it goes back to the time that we were about 17 years of age, which is a heck of a long time ago. Over 70. Seven yeah. oh hmm. years ago. ago. Ooh, we met <laughs> in the local parish table tennis club. I was 18, he was 17. <laughs> And Grandad came with a friend one night. I found this film so endearing. Um, I thought it was so sweet when she talks about how comfortable she felt with his company. And they go back and forth about how she was in it for his grandpa's money. And it's just really lighthearted and brings in humor. It definitely made me smile. Um, I thought this was so cute. It was such a beautiful tribute to the filmmaker's grandparents, um, and it felt just really authentic and real. What a unique and special way to tell someone's love story, or just a part of it, at the very least. Uh, and it's so accessible to all ages. Uh, the animation style has its own kind of vintage uh, aesthetic to it which only further speaks to the 70 plus history that these two beautiful humans have together. I love the claymation in this. It was so well done. I also appreciated how the figures themselves were made out of clay, but their clothing seemed to be made out of cloth, um, which was really creative and um, I haven't seen that in claymation before. So it made it seem even more real. Um, I love just the claymation itself was so well done. The expressions on their faces, even when the other one is talking, the, the one that's not talking is still having those reactions to uh, their partner. And that was just so cool to see because it made it feel all the more real. Um, I loved that we had their memories in drawn animation, sort of a little different to make it, uh, to differentiate it from real life. Uh, so I liked seeing that. I also thought that the drawn animation was really cute. Um, the whole short was uh, wholesome, adorable. It's so sweet, the voiceover. You can really feel the love with this couple as they retell the story of their love. And even the love that exists behind the camera as this is a grandchild speaking to their grandparents and creating this piece as sort of a means to document their love and make it this timeless thing. And you really felt that energy throughout the piece, just in the way that they spoke to each other. And it really created this um, familial um, intimacy and just warmth throughout the whole animation. What I enjoyed most about the short animation piece were the animation choices, of course, but also uh, these two are a perfect example of what true love is. I love how them being the grandparents made the story feel so much more thoughtful and engaging. And I also love how the true story isn't your typical love story that gets portrayed in, in films these days. But instead, they had some real stakes in their lives and some challenges throughout their lives before they evidently found one another again. I love how the flashback sequences still away from the, the claymation style to give us a better and clearer understanding and view of the past, and it's a great way to showcase this in the form that, in the form of a flashback. The, the thing that um, really takes it up a notch that I've not seen before is it's somebody chronicling their own family history. You know, these are their grandparents, um, the, the filmmaker's grandparents. Um, I've never seen something like this before, a family chronicle made by within the family and set to animation. So wonderful work there. What wonderful stories they had to tell and how charming they were. And uh, the animation was done so nicely. I love the two styles. We had kind of the clay, claymation kind of a stop, stop action for the interview footage and the flashback footage was all, you know, 2D. Um, and I just love seeing animation produced independently like this. You know, this is obviously a very guerrilla operation. Obviously a lot of work went, and a lot of love went into this. So Huge congrats on this. This is a really remarkable piece, a really remarkable effort.